If you want to build unshakable confidence, you need to do this one thing. Start with yourself. Confidence isn't something you're born with. It's something you build, one small step at a time. And no, it doesn't come from trying to impress others or aiming for perfection. True confidence is all about learning to value yourself, embracing your strengths and navigating life's challenges with a steady mind. In this video, we're going to dive into the real foundation of confidence, a journey that starts from within and grows through intentional habits and perspectives. We'll explore practical steps to cultivate lasting self-belief, from celebrating small wins to embracing a growth mindset and even creating your personal roadmap for confidence. By the end, you'll have a toolkit of strategies designed to help you overcome self-doubt, silence those negative thoughts, and boost your resilience. So, if you're ready to unlock the kind of confidence that doesn't waver with others' opinions or life setbacks, let's get started. Number 1. Pause and reflect on criticism. Imagine you're moving forward in life, working hard, and then, suddenly, someone criticizes you. Maybe it's a friend who questions your decision-making, a co-worker who thinks you didn't do something right, or even a family member who implies that your choices aren't wise. At first, it stings, doesn't it? Criticism can feel like a dagger, piercing through all the progress you've made, stirring up insecurities and doubts you thought you'd long overcome. But what if I told you there's a way to take that sting and turn it into a tool for growth, one that actually boosts your confidence instead of tearing it down? Let's walk through a practice that the Stoics embraced centuries ago. When criticized, pause and take three deep breaths. It might sound simple, but these breaths aren't just about calming down. They're about resetting how you respond to criticism. In the first breath, acknowledge the sting. Yes, someone's words have affected you. Don't try to deny it. But by recognizing it, you're already in control rather than reacting impulsively. In the second breath, ask yourself, is there something here I can learn? Criticism sometimes holds a mirror to things we don't like to see about ourselves, but viewing it as feedback can transform it from a weapon into a tool. And in the third breath, remember that criticism often says more about the critic than it does about you. People project their insecurities, fears and frustrations. This awareness lets you take only what's valuable from criticism, leaving behind anything irrelevant. Now imagine the impact of this habit. Think back to a time in your life when someone's harsh words or feedback shook your confidence. Maybe it was in school, a teacher's comment that made you question your abilities, or a boss who never seemed satisfied with your work. In those moments, many of us don't have the tools to handle criticism in a way that builds us up. But what if, back then, you had paused, taken those three breaths, and seen that feedback as a stepping stone instead of a setback. How would that have shaped your self-belief, your self-worth and your inner confidence? This practice of pausing and reflecting on criticism is like a mental shield. When someone's words could wound you, it helps you decide how deeply those words will actually impact you. Picture yourself the next time you receive a piece of unsolicited advice or criticism. Now, instead of your chest tightening and that familiar sting, you feel a calm washing over you. You don't just react, you pause, process and decide. This habit alone can be transformative because with each criticism, you become stronger, more resilient and increasingly grounded in your own self-worth. So, let's lean into this. Next time criticism comes your way, Embrace those three breaths as a doorway to a new mindset. Isn't it fascinating to consider how something so simple could entirely change your experience with criticism? This is your opportunity to turn criticism into an ally, a tool that shapes you into a person of unshakable confidence. Number two, 
set realistic goals. Now, let's talk about a fundamental building block of confidence setting realistic goals. We live in a culture that often glorifies big dreams and hustle-hard mindsets, pushing us to aim high and reach for the stars. But how many of us have started with grand plans, only to feel burned out, discouraged, or even ashamed when we fall short? This is because the human mind craves progress. It's essential for confidence, but it has to be achievable progress, not something so lofty that failure feels inevitable. Think of this through the lens of Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor who reminded us that real progress doesn't happen by accident or luck, but by consistent, intentional effort. When we set goals that are too big, too fast, we risk setting ourselves up for disappointment. Instead, think of confidence like building a pyramid. You don't start with the capstone, you start with a strong base, adding each layer carefully with purpose. Setting realistic goals allows us to build that solid foundation, one that feels achievable and rewarding. Let's go back in time to a story from ancient Mali. Imagine a young griot, a storyteller named Jabari, who dreamed of mastering the entire history of his people, thousands of stories spanning generations. At first, the dream seemed impossible, overwhelming, a task that no one thought he could accomplish. But his teacher gave him simple advice. Don't try to swallow the ocean. Start with a single cup of water each day. Jabari began learning one story each morning, never more than he could handle. Slowly, over the course of a decade, he became a master griot, celebrated across the kingdom for his knowledge and skill. Jabari's confidence didn't come from the enormity of his achievement, but from the satisfaction of reaching small, realistic goals every day. Relate this to your own life. Maybe you have a goal that's felt daunting, a career change, a fitness journey, a skill you want to master. Instead of aiming for an overwhelming milestone, break it down into smaller, realistic steps. Want to start a new business? Begin with one hour each day of research and planning. Want to write a book? Start with one page a day. It's not about watering down your ambitions, but creating a pathway that leads there without crushing your confidence along the way. When we set realistic goals, we lay each block of confidence with care. The Stoics believed in something called progressive overload, a concept where you gradually increase your challenges while staying within bounds that don't exhaust you. Think of the Greek wrestler Milo, who built his strength by lifting a calf each day until it grew into a full-grown bull. He didn't jump straight to the bull, he worked up to it gradually, adapting his body and building his strength naturally. This is the power of realistic goal setting. It's challenging yet achievable, and every step you take adds another layer to your confidence. Number three, challenge negative thoughts. Now, let's address a habit that hits close to home for many of us challenging negative thoughts. How often do we find ourselves sabotaged by our own minds? It might be that voice that says, you're not good enough, or you're going to fail. These thoughts can be powerful, even paralyzing. But what if you could turn that self-doubt into self-assurance, using those very thoughts as stepping stones to greater confidence? There's a practice in ancient India called Pratipaksha Bhavana, or replacing negative thoughts with positive, constructive ones. But this isn't about superficial positivity or wishful thinking. It's about genuinely questioning and dissecting those negative assumptions that hold us back. Imagine a Sufi teacher who was known for her unwavering confidence. When asked about her secret, she would say, Each morning I greet my two great teachers, doubt and fear. I ask them, what do you have to teach me today? Then I listen, learn, and let them go. To her, negative thoughts weren't enemies to be vanquished, but messengers with valuable insights. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus taught that it's not events that disturb us, but our judgments about them. 
Let's say you're giving a presentation and someone in the audience yawns. Your first thought might be, I must be boring everyone, spiraling you into self-doubt. But what if that person just stayed up late or had a heavy lunch? When you question the foundation of your negative assumptions, you realize that they're often baseless. This is where a powerful technique comes into play, the ancient court of reason. When a negative thought arises, imagine putting it on trial. What's the evidence for it? What's the evidence against it? How would you advise a friend in the same situation? Take this back to moments in your life when negative thoughts held you back. Maybe it was the fear of failure that kept you from applying for a dream job or the feeling of inadequacy that stopped you from pursuing a passion. Think about how different your journey could have been if you had questioned those thoughts instead of accepting them as truth. This is what challenging negative thoughts can do for you. It allows you to dismantle doubts and build confidence with a stronger, more resilient mindset. Ancient wisdom teaches us that negative thoughts can be transformed into fuel for growth. Just as a pottery master views each flaw in his work as a lesson, we can view our doubts as opportunities to learn about our own insecurities. By doing so, we strip those doubts of their power and turn them into tools for building confidence. Isn't it interesting to consider that your greatest obstacles could also be your greatest teachers. Number four, celebrate small wins. Imagine the feeling of checking off something on your to-do list. It's a small achievement, but there's a quiet joy in that moment. It's a reminder that progress, no matter how small, is worth acknowledging. This is the essence of celebrating small wins, and it's a practice that has the power to transform your life and build lasting confidence. Too often, society teaches us to focus solely on major achievements, the big promotions, the monumental life changes, the once-in-a-lifetime successes. But confidence doesn't just spring from these peaks, it's built from the steady climb of smaller steps. The Stoics, known for their wisdom in facing life's challenges, understood this concept well. They taught that true progress lies not in sporadic leaps, but in consistent, intentional actions. By recognizing and celebrating each small win, we can create a positive cycle of motivation, self-assurance, and resilience. Think of it this way, every small win is like placing a brick in the foundation of a house. One brick alone may not seem like much, but over time, these bricks add up, creating something solid and enduring. Imagine if every small task you completed, every effort you made, was acknowledged as a part of your larger journey. What if every time you read a page in a book, went for a short walk, or tackled a minor task, you saw it as a step toward your larger goals? This mindset shift can drastically change your motivation and help you see the value in every effort you make. Reflect for a moment. Can you think of a time when you were working towards something maybe a skill or a goal, and felt discouraged because progress was slow. Maybe you were learning a musical instrument, training for a race, or even trying to build healthier habits. Each attempt, each small improvement, seemed too insignificant to celebrate. But if you had marked each small milestone, each practice session or workout as a win, how might that have altered your perception? Instead of seeing the journey as daunting, you might have felt encouraged and motivated to keep going. By celebrating small wins, we keep our spirits lifted and our motivation intact. This isn't just about patting yourself on the back, it's about nurturing a mindset that sees value in every step of the journey. Each small win serves as proof that you are capable, that you are moving forward and that every effort matters. Isn't it inspiring to think that by honoring even the smallest achievements, you can fuel your confidence and create a positive momentum in your life? Number five, focus on continuous growth, not perfection. 
Imagine a world where every project, every endeavor, has to be flawless before it's considered worthwhile. In reality, this mindset can be paralyzing. Striving for perfection might seem like a noble pursuit, but it can actually be one of the biggest barriers to true growth. Instead, shifting our focus to continuous growth opens up a world of possibilities where every day is an opportunity to improve, learn and adapt. Think about a tree. It doesn't grow to full height in a single season, nor does it compare itself to other trees. It simply grows continuously, steadily, embracing each season's challenges and changes. We can learn from this natural process, seeing ourselves as works in progress rather than projects that need to be perfect. The Stoics often spoke about life as a journey, emphasizing that wisdom, strength and resilience are built over time. When we focus on growth instead of perfection, we release ourselves from the pressure of unrealistic standards and embrace the journey as a learning experience. Reflect on a time when you aimed for perfection and felt disappointed. Maybe it was an assignment, a project at work, or a personal goal. The fear of not meeting perfect standards may have held you back from even starting or made you overly critical of yourself. Now imagine if, instead of striving for perfection, you had focused on making progress, even if it was just small incremental improvements. How much more enjoyable and rewarding might that experience have been? This shift to a growth-oriented mindset means that every mistake, every setback, and every challenge becomes an opportunity to learn and evolve. By focusing on continuous growth, we give ourselves the freedom to try, to make mistakes, and to improve. Isn't it intriguing to think that by letting go of perfection, we can actually become better, more confident versions of ourselves? Number six, embrace constructive self-talk. Imagine standing in front of a mirror and talking to yourself with the same kindness and encouragement you'd give to a friend. How would it feel to replace criticism with compassion, self-doubt with support? This is the power of constructive self-talk. It's about becoming your own ally, someone who cheers you on rather than tearing you down. Constructive self-talk isn't about blind positivity. It's about being realistic and kind to yourself, acknowledging both your strengths and areas for improvement. The Stoics believed that our minds are like gardens. We must be mindful of what we allow to grow there. Negative, harsh thoughts can overrun our confidence, while positive, constructive thoughts help it flourish. Imagine replacing thoughts like, I can't do this with I'll give it my best shot, or I'll learn from this. This shift isn't just a feel-good exercise, it's a practical approach that can help you navigate challenges with resilience. Think back to a time when you were hard on yourself. Maybe you made a mistake at work, missed a personal goal, or faced a challenge that left you feeling inadequate. Those critical thoughts can linger, affecting your mood, motivation, and confidence. But what if, in those moments, you had spoken to yourself with encouragement? Imagine if you'd reminded yourself that it's okay to make mistakes, that every setback is a stepping stone, and that you're capable of growth. Constructive self-talk is like building a supportive inner voice, one that lifts you up rather than holds you back. When you cultivate this kind of dialogue with yourself, challenges become less intimidating and mistakes become part of the learning process. Isn't it fascinating to consider that the words you say to yourself can shape your confidence and your life? Number seven, surround yourself with positive influences. Imagine a garden filled with vibrant flowers where each plant is nourished by the sunlight and rich soil around it. Just as plants need a healthy environment to thrive, we too need positive influences to grow and build confidence. The people we surround ourselves with, the media we consume, and the environments we engage with all have a profound effect on our mindset and self-belief. 
Surrounding yourself with positive influences doesn't mean avoiding challenges or difficult truths. It means choosing people and environments that inspire, encourage, and uplift you. Think of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who advised his students to associate with those who bring out the best in them. Positive influences don't shield us from hardships, but help us face them with strength and perspective. They are the friends who remind you of your worth, the mentors who guide you, and the communities that celebrate your growth. Reflect on a time in your life when you were part of a supportive community or had friends who encouraged you. Perhaps it was a sports team, a study group, or a workplace where people genuinely cared about each other's success. Those experiences create a sense of belonging, a feeling that you're not alone in your journey. Positive influences don't just lift us up, they also remind us of our potential and help us become more confident, resilient individuals. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can be transformative. It's like building a support system that fuels your growth and reinforces your self-belief. Isn't it intriguing to think about how the people and environments we choose can have such a powerful impact on our confidence and overall happiness? Number 8. Face your fears. Gradually, imagine standing at the edge of a diving board, looking down at the water below. You know the fear of jumping is holding you back, but you also know that taking that leap could be exhilarating and liberating. Facing fears isn't about diving into the deep end all at once, it's about easing into the process, taking small, manageable steps that gradually build your courage and confidence. The Stoics taught that courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to confront it. They believed that by exposing ourselves to challenges in small doses, we strengthen our resilience and diminish the hold that fear has on us. Picture it like this, instead of jumping off that diving board on day one, you start by dipping your toes in the water. Then, you wade a little deeper each time. This gradual exposure allows you to face your fears without feeling overwhelmed, building confidence step by step. Think about a fear you've had in your life. Maybe it's public speaking, heights, or starting something new. When you've tried to face it all at once, the fear might have felt overwhelming, even paralyzing. But when you approached it in smaller, manageable steps, it probably felt more achievable. Reflect on a time when you made progress with a fear by taking it one step at a time. That progress, however small, can be incredibly empowering. Facing fears gradually is like building mental muscles. Each small step is a victory, a reminder that you're stronger than your fear. Over time, the things that once felt intimidating become part of your comfort zone. Isn't it powerful to realize that by taking things slowly, by facing your fears one step at a time, you can transform fear into confidence? Number nine, establish a foundation of physical care. Imagine the feeling of waking up refreshed, energized and ready to take on the day. When your body feels good, Everything else in life seems a little brighter, a little more manageable. Physical health has an incredible impact on our mental and emotional well-being, and establishing a foundation of physical care is essential to building confidence and resilience. Our physical well-being lays the groundwork for everything we do. It's the foundation on which our mental health, productivity, and confidence stand. When we take care of our bodies, we're not just investing in our health, but also building a sense of self-respect and self-worth. The Stoics were advocates of self-discipline and believed that taking care of the body was part of taking care of the mind. They understood that a healthy body supports a healthy mind, creating the conditions for us to be our best selves. Imagine if, each day, you gave yourself the gift of physical care, a balanced meal, a brisk walk, a few minutes to stretch or meditate. These small acts of self-care are not just routines, they are investments in your confidence. Just as a sturdy house needs a solid foundation, your confidence needs a healthy, resilient body to flourish. 
Think of each workout, each nutritious meal, and each good night's sleep as a building block in the foundation of your self-assurance. Reflect on a time when you felt physically well, perhaps after exercising consistently, eating healthily, or getting enough sleep. During that time, did you feel more confident, more capable, more in control? These moments of physical well-being can remind us of our potential, showing us what we're capable of when we take care of our bodies. It's a nostalgic feeling, one that many of us may long to return to or sustain. Physical care isn't just about the body, it's about building a lifestyle that supports confidence and self-worth. Curiosity fuels growth, and there's a fascinating journey in learning what your body needs to feel its best. Isn't it intriguing to consider how a few simple changes, more movement, balanced nutrition, mindful rest, can transform not only how you feel, but how you view yourself? By establishing a foundation of physical care, you're giving yourself the strength, energy, and resilience to face life with confidence. Number 10. Learn from mistakes with a growth mindset. Imagine if every mistake you made became an opportunity for growth rather than a reason for self-doubt. The idea of learning from mistakes is simple in theory, yet it's a powerful tool that can transform how we view ourselves and our journey toward confidence. Embracing mistakes as stepping stones to growth allows us to build resilience, adaptability, and most importantly, self-belief. A growth mindset is about seeing challenges, setbacks and failures, not as indicators of our worth, but as learning experiences that can guide us forward. The Stoics believed that adversity was a teacher, that every difficult situation was an opportunity to strengthen one's character and wisdom. By shifting our mindset from fearing mistakes to valuing them, we open ourselves to growth in ways we may never have anticipated. Mistakes don't define us, our responses to them do. Think about a mistake you made that, in hindsight, taught you something valuable. Maybe it was a misstep at work, a relationship that didn't work out, or a goal you didn't achieve. At the time, the disappointment might have felt overwhelming. But as time passed, perhaps you gained insights that you would never have discovered otherwise. Mistakes, when viewed through the lens of growth, become some of our greatest teachers. They show us where we need to improve, how we can approach things differently, and that we are capable of learning and adapting. Looking back on your life, you might find moments when mistakes led to growth, even if it wasn't obvious at the time. This sense of nostalgia, of seeing how far you've come and the lessons you've learned, can inspire you to face future challenges with a more resilient, growth-focused mindset. It's like having a roadmap of experiences, showing you that you have the strength to overcome, adapt, and thrive. What if, from this day forward, you saw each mistake as an opportunity? Isn't it empowering to think that every setback can lead to a breakthrough, that every misstep can be part of a journey toward greater confidence and self-understanding. By adopting a growth mindset, you're not just learning from mistakes. You're building the kind of confidence that can face anything life throws your way. Number 11. Avoid comparisons to others. Imagine a world where you could look at others' success, beauty or achievements without feeling like you needed to measure up. The pressure to compare ourselves to others is an age-old challenge, yet it's one of the biggest obstacles to confidence and self-worth. True confidence isn't about being better than others, it's about embracing our unique journey, strengths and growth. Comparing ourselves to others can make us feel inadequate or unworthy, but it's also a natural part of human behavior. The Stoics, however, encouraged focusing inward rather than outward. They taught that we should measure ourselves not by external standards, but by our own growth and integrity. By turning our attention to our progress and values, we can break free from the cycle of comparison and build confidence rooted in self-acceptance and authenticity. 
Think of a time when you found yourself comparing yourself to someone else. Maybe it was a friend with a seemingly perfect career, someone on social media with a beautiful lifestyle, or a colleague who seemed to excel effortlessly. In those moments, it's easy to feel inadequate or to doubt your worth. But what if, instead of focusing on their journey, you had focused on your own progress, celebrating your unique strengths and achievements? Our confidence grows when we honor our own paths, without letting others' successes diminish our own. Reflecting on this habit of comparison can bring back memories of times we might have felt less because we were measuring ourselves against others. But as we grow, we realize that everyone's path is different and each journey is valuable in its own right. The nostalgia of these experiences can remind us of how much we've grown and encourage us to focus on our own progress. Isn't it freeing to think that you don't need to be anyone but yourself? That your confidence can come from within, from celebrating your unique qualities and achievements? By avoiding comparisons and embracing your own journey, you're building a kind of confidence that isn't shaken by others' successes. It's confidence rooted in self-worth and acceptance, a confidence that grows from within. Number 12. Create a personal roadmap for confidence. Imagine having a clear, personalized roadmap for building confidence, one that guides you through each step of the journey. A roadmap is not just about setting goals, but about creating a structured plan that aligns with your values, strengths, and aspirations. By creating this roadmap, you're giving yourself a blueprint for growth, one that leads to lasting confidence and self-belief. A personal roadmap to confidence is about setting achievable milestones, identifying areas for growth, and embracing both your strengths and weaknesses. The Stoics believed in living with intention and purpose, in knowing one's values and aligning actions with those principles. This roadmap doesn't have to be rigid, it's a flexible guide that evolves with you, supporting your growth and helping you stay grounded and motivated. Each step on this roadmap is a commitment to yourself, a declaration that you are worthy of confidence and self-respect. Think about times in your life when you felt lost or uncertain, when you wished you had a guide or a plan to follow. Those moments of uncertainty might have felt overwhelming, but imagine if at that time you had a personal roadmap, a set of guiding principles and goals that could anchor you. Reflecting on past experiences can help you see the value of having a roadmap, especially one tailored to your unique journey. Our past experiences often give us clues about what we need to build confidence. By looking back, we can identify patterns, moments of growth, and areas where we felt strong and capable. This nostalgia, this reflection on our journey, can inspire us to create a roadmap that honors where we've been and where we want to go. Isn't it exciting to think about creating a personal roadmap, a guide that will lead you to a more confident, fulfilled version of yourself? By setting clear goals, embracing your values, and charting a path forward, you're not just dreaming of confidence, you're actively building it step by step. This roadmap becomes your compass, guiding you through challenges and celebrating your progress along the way. As we wrap up this exploration of building unshakable confidence, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below with a hundred if you've made it this far. This shows you're part of the elite few who are genuinely committed to self-improvement. Remember, every step you take toward boosting your confidence is a step away from self-doubt and negativity. If you're truly serious about transforming your life and becoming the best version of yourself, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are all striving for growth and positivity. Together, we can continue this journey of self-discovery and empowerment.